I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking of, now I'm thinking of By the cottage room blues, yeah I wanna drown myself inside the juice working on this illustration a couple days ago and I think it's done now. I don't really want to do much more to it to be honest. I think I'm happy with where it's at so I'm gonna stop now before I drive myself crazy. But I wanted to try a little something different and there's a background so that's, that's pretty wild for me. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Oh, there's a screen glare. Yeah, there she is. Kind of like a young middle schooler, you know, like maybe a sixth grader or something. Just walking through the woods by herself in the middle of... I don't know if it's a snowstorm, but it's, it's snowing. I also added like a little, little filter over it. I don't know if, which I like more. But whatever. I'm really happy with this. I'm glad I am challenging myself. Okay, I'll figure this out and then I'll post it. God, they're marshmallows. Marshmallow. Okay, how about this one? Okay, Moja. Okay, this one. Okay. This one. Oh, I smell it. It does smell like mocha. Oh my God. Marshmallow. <laughs> I know that okay, this is just wrong. Oh, I oh. <laughs> so simple, yet so difficult. Uh, do we not know who the other one is? Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I have oh to do God. it. I have to do it. I have to do it. We can skip okay. it and be fast. But guys, <laughs> I gotta tell you something. Okay, so I put went to right side and was standing there for a while, but. You know, I like to do this thing where, where like, I, I'll come back to the middle and see who's moving at the end. And Ifa's going from right side all the way to the left. Now I switched this route. And, and, and oh, my Lord. Classic okay, if you want to yeah. vote me, I'll vote myself right now. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to hard vote. I'm, I'm just trying, trying to throw a little sauce on you, bro. <laughs> <gasps> She's going to be after, right? Um... Oh my God, yeah, I'm that's some lucky Janet. It. it was like kind of off cams, but just I could see like the I don't know. Oh, that's like, why you're sticking like, up for Ifa Janet. 
It's like a like a like a like some sort of like sweat explosion mm. that comes out of their head or something was caught on that camera. I think I'm wrong about IFA. Some nice cheeky. I'm sorry. IFA. Where's the where's the nice, where's nice where's the This is so hard. Uh, it's just in the hallway going down to uh, bottom engine from uh, security. I saw it on cameras. So my problem my problem is I don't no. know. Okay, so this. I'll clean this up off camera. This is too hard. You're not clear in my mind. I'd still rather have an iPhone. I've been putting this off forever, but we are finally ordering business cards slash new thank you cards. So I know Moo has a cotton option, which is made from recycled t-shirt fabric, which I am quite interested in. It's going to be like if I order 50 it'll be $31.99 I think I'm gonna go with that okay so I've never placed an order with Moo before even though I've heard a lot about them even like back when I was in college because people always talked about their quality but for some reason standard trackable shipping is um $21.75 like And it's going to get here by January 25th, and today's January 14th. I have no idea why they're charging $21.75 for shipping. Especially if they're based in the U.S., it should not cost that much to ship out business cards, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't really get it. I might just find another option. Uh... Economy is February 2nd is when it'll arrive and it's a lot cheaper, but that's like, it's gonna get here too late. So I am going to look for a local option where I can just pick them up from cause that's just way too much. Y'all moved again? <laughs> this is the third time the print shop I use has moved, but now they've moved even closer. So, cool. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. So since I've decided to move, um, to switch to using my local printer for the business cards, I have to resize them. So for move the squares, the total size is like 2.71, but um, since I want these, for my current printer to be two and a half, which is their standard square business card side. I'm just, I'm resizing it to 2.5. Sorry, my exposure was totally off. And so I'm, I just resize these to 2.5, but I need to include a bleed. So on the bleed on each side, it would be um, 0.125 is the standard bleed. So 0 0.125, 0 0.125, so 0 0.25 on each side. So it'll be canvas size. So since it's 0 0.25 on each side, the total size of the canvas should be 2.75. And this way the printer doesn't have to deal with it either. It's 2.75, so now you can see um, now you cannot see that there's a bleed now, so all I need to do is, I like to make it so that it's the same color as the background, and there you go, there's the bleed. And I need to do the same thing on the other side. And once I finish that, I'm going to place an order and it should be ready to pick up by the time I'm back in town next week. Once again, eating our favorite sandwich in town, except they ran out of sourdough, but they had baguettes, so we got a baguette this time instead of sourdough, but it looks pretty good. And we have clam chowder. Hi, it's Monday, January 18th, and as you can see, I'm finally back in my apartment. We just got back yesterday, 
and I guess now it's time to get back to work and, and continue preparing for my shop update, which is very exciting. But first, today I woke up and I had two packages arrive, so I am going to open these right now. Whoever delivered this like dropped this in the dirt, so it's like covered in dirt. So let me open this carefully. open this box. I don't actually know what is in this box. I ordered three things, but I don't know if all of them arrived. I ordered some new tissue paper because I ran out and I was also tired of using like plain white because it's kind of boring. So I bought some sheets of this nice peach colored tissue paper. It's a nice peach color. It's one of my favorite colors. I currently have bubble mailers in the same color, but I don't know if I'm gonna continue using those, but I do need more tissue paper, so we will be using this to wrap things until I run out. These sheets are a little bit on the small side. They're not like large, like normal tissue paper, but no, actually these are quite big actually. I thought it was just this size, but I just noticed that it's folded over. So that's great. The color looks really good. It looks exactly like what it looked like in the pictures. So that makes me really happy. I also got these blank playing cards and I got a new tarot deck. I don't know how to pronounce this. The Hermetic the Hermetic Tarot? The Hermetic? Is it Hermetic? Hermetic? I don't know, I need to look up how to pronounce this. Oh, it's so nice and matte. Yeah, so they're all black and white, just like this. Uh, Illustration-wise, I haven't really done much. My sister gave me a prompt recently. It was like eggplant suit, so. Here's eggplant suit. <laughs> I'm very proud of this one, actually. I think it looks great. I did do um, a Draw This In Your Style by Tabatai. Uh, that's their handle on Instagram. And it was super fun. So mine was like all nice and pastel-y, as you can see. I really like the texture here. I wanted to play with color and texture and some pattern, but it was really nice and it was super fun to do. I got to get super loose on this one, which was a lot of fun and you can see um, the drawing for yourself on my Instagram, which is just my North Stars, my North Stars. It's linked in my description box below and it's also in the About tab of my channel.
Hi, hi, hello. It is Wednesday, January 20th, and it's about nighttime right now. I think it's like 5, 6 p.m. or something, but I just finished taking some more product photos, and I think I have two more pictures to take, and I'll be done with photos. I've been doing some editing, doing a lot of prep. I have to make social media posts for this shop update, but the plan is to have the shop update go live tomorrow, and I want it around like the early afternoon, maybe like 2 p.m. ish is what I'm aiming for, but we will see. Uh, today I drove over to my local printer to go pick up the business cards. I have this cute little box, and they turned out great. I just really want to show y'all what they look like. I can't show the back because um, there's like a code on the back, but if you buy something, <laughs> you can see what's on the back but they're super cute look can you see the colors printed really nice let me try moving my lamp this way let's see if the light there we go there we go there we go look they're oh they turned out so nice and the back looks great i can't show you the back but I'm happy I adjusted the colors before I sent them in one last time. It, it turned out really nice. I love the off-white. Oh yeah, they look really good. Oh, they're a little smaller than I thought they would be, but honestly, it's such a cute size and they don't need to be that big anyway. Uh, everything seems pretty easy to read, so I don't think size is an issue. So yeah. Here it is. Super excited. I have a whole box of these. I'm very excited to finally have business cards of some kind. It just has my link tree on there, so it's just a compilation of all of my links and where you can find me on social media, my YouTube channel, my portfolio, my shops. So, so yeah, I just have prep today to do for the shop update, but I recently had a curveball thrown at me, so uh, I have been applying to jobs because I need to to continue qualifying for unemployment, especially if I don't make a certain amount of money, I think, in my shop, then I have to do that to qualify. So I've been doing that and I applied to this one job and they reached out to me in like a couple days and the design um, manager or something or the design lead manager there reached out and said she was impressed by her portfolio and she wants to interview me and she asked me about my salary expectations so I emailed her back like a couple hours ago about that with my salary expectations and I have an interview scheduled for tomorrow morning apparently so I was going to vlog like shop update prep stuff today but um, I think I need to get that out of the way and really focus on this job interview. I haven't had a formal interview in a while. The last time I think I had a proper interview was maybe uh, September 2019, so it's been a while. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've had an interview, like a proper interview, so I have a lot of prepare. I have a lot of preparation to do. I need to review my portfolio, review my resume, and make some notes and talking points. This is just going to be a phone interview so I can have notes in front of me. So I'm a little nervous. I'm not even 100% sure if I actually want this job, but I don't know. It seemed like it seemed like a good fit for me. I mean, I can do basic graphic design stuff, social print is necessary. But they also have a magazine, so maybe I could do illustrations and layout for the magazine as well, which sounds really fun. Actually, you know, more editorial-esque stuff. And it's funny that this opportunity, you know, showed itself to me because I was looking into editorial stuff recently. Namely, in the, like, more so on the illustration side of things, like editorial illustration, but uh, being able to do more traditional print related stuff sounds really fun. So yeah, we will, we will see. Uh, I'm a little nervous because when I lost my last job, I kind of woke up and was just like, no, it's not for me. I need to be self-employed. I just don't think 
working under another person is really for me, especially in a corporate environment. This one isn't, I don't know if I would say it's corporate, but it's definitely in-house, this current position I'm looking at. But I don't know, it just kind of fell into my lap and now I'm just seriously considering it. But obviously I need to get past this interview first, but yeah, no, mixed feelings. I'm not making enough money from my shop to, you know, do this full time, which is fine. I wasn't really expecting that anytime soon. I was just kind of expecting to get by until maybe March and then start looking for jobs seriously. But now I have this opportunity. I don't know, maybe once I have a stable income again and a more stable routine, I can maybe not worry so much about things for a bit, but also maybe I can look into adopting a cat because I've been wanting a pet, but not having a source of income right now outside of unemployment it makes that a little uh, risky. I don't really want to risk it, um, but yeah, we'll see. We will, we will see. So that's what's going on with me. I haven't really been able to vlog much, like vlog consistently, but I'm not, I don't want to force myself to vlog if I don't want to, so. But another issue is that I'm really bad at vlogging myself while I'm working. So when I'm drawing, it's really easy for me to get in the zone and I just completely forget to even record myself doing things, so. That's something I definitely need to work on as well, but oh, there's just a lot going on. Maybe this is a good opportunity for me to walk out through my portfolio or something. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. We have once again finished another graphic for my shop. Froggy tote bag, hell yeah. I've actually given up on frog photos. I'm exhausted. I think I just want to push this out. I have this weird need for everything to be perfect, but it's like, it's not going to be perfect. And it's fine. It's fine. But here it is. It looks really cute. It matches my other graphics. So, it matches this one. And also this one, you can see the common theme, common little motif, it's this one, yeah, heck yeah. It's quite cute, I am a fan. Between a dream.